everybody. Welcome to another edition of Miss Z TV. Today, I have a very special guest joining us. I am so excited to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant, come on out. Come in, come and see the kids. Come on, come on. Oh, oh no. Oh no, what's that, elephant? You're you're feeling shy? Oh, elephant, don't be shy. These are your friends. They're here to encourage you. You guys, Mr. Elephant is feeling a little bit shy. He's he's not quite ready to come out. Will you help me call Mr. Elephant? Okay, ready? On the count of three, we're gonna say, come on, Mr. Elephant. Ready? One, two. Three, come on, Mr. Elephant. Oh, 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 it's working, you guys. He's he's coming, he's coming. Okay, here he comes. All right, Mr. Elephant, come say hi to everybody. Oh, there he is. He's He is a little bit shy today, but he's gonna warm up. So Mr. Elephant, I need your help to, with today's story. Are you, um, are you willing to help me out? Okay. Um, Mr. Elephant, what I want you to do today is to be my scribe. Does anyone know what a scribe is? Do you know what a scribe is? Oh, okay. Well, a scribe is the person who is going to write down the list of words that we're collecting when we go on our, our uh, speech detective hunt, when we look for our sound today. So will you be my scribe? That means you're going to write down the words that we find on our list. Okay, Mr. Elephant, great. I've got a marker for you right here and he's ready to go. So in today's episode, we are gonna go on another adventure with my friends, Squid and Octopus. Here they are again. But today we're gonna focus on a different sound. So in the first Squid and Op Octopus episode, we focused on the S sound. In the second episode of Squid and Octopus. We focused on the K and the G sounds. And in today's episode, we are going to focus on the R sound. Now, the R can be a tricky sound to say for some kids. So um, at the end of this video, I'm going to share some tips and strategies for making your R sound. So stay tuned. And then once you get good at making your R sound, watch the video again and practice the words that you collect on your, uh, that we've collected on our list and the ones that you've collected. Are you ready, everybody? Squid and octopus are ready. Are you ready, elephant? Elephant is ready. Today's story is called The Dream. Can anybody make a smart guess about why I chose The Dream as today's story? If you said it's because there's an R sound in the word dream, nice job. Today's story has all kinds of R, R words in it. So let's start by just looking at the letter R. Mr. Elephant, can you make a capital R for us to see? Okay, here he goes. Ready? Here's our little notepad and we're gonna make a uppercase or a capital R. There we go, we have our uppercase R. And there's also a little r called a lowercase r. We're gonna add that one too so that you know what they both look like. Very nice. And Mr. Elephant, can you write the title of our story down so that we can see what it looks like? Okay, Mr. Elephant, write dream for us. D, d, d. Sounds like there's a D at the beginning. D, d, d. I hear an R, E, I hear an E sound, and that in this word is made with the E, A. And what sound is in the end of the word? Dream, M, mm, that sounds like the letter M. Way to go, elephant, you wrote the word dream. Okay. So let's jump right into our story today. Mr. Elephant is ready with his marker to collect our words. And here we have the dream. Ah, 
octopus. Oh, I almost forgot. We're going underwater. So let's dive in. All right, now we're underwater with squid and octopus. Here we go. Octopus was swimming about when he came across a very droopy squid. Why so glum? Squid asked Octopus. I just had the most fantastic dream, said Squid. I dreamt I could fly. Okay, we have our illustration here and it's time to go on a speech detective hunt and find all the words that have our R sound. So let's look around. I see a parachute. Mr. Elephant, will you write the word parachute on our list for us? All right, we're gonna add the word parachute to our list. There's our R. We've got parachute. We've got dream. Let's see what else we can find. Hmm, I'm looking around and I see some characters in the parachute. I see a bear and I see a rabbit. Both of those words have the R sound. In the word bear, the R is at the end of the word. Listen, bear, there it is at the end. Hmm, who can tell me where the R is in the word rabbit? Is it in the beginning, the middle, or the end? Rabbit. I hear the R right at the beginning. Okay, so we have two more words to add to our list. Are you ready, Mr. Elephant? Here we go, we have bear. And we have, oopsies, don't drop the marker, Mr. Elephant. And we have rabbit. I see the R at the beginning of the word rabbit. All right, we're making a great list here. Let's keep looking. Are there any other words that have the R sound in them in this illustration? I see one. Look what Squid turned into. He turned into a butterfly. We have to add that word to our list too. Are you ready, elephant? Here we go. This is a long word. And look, we're running out of space. We're gonna turn the page and add to our list and write the word butterfly. Butterfly. Where is the R sound in the word butterfly? Beginning, middle, or end? If you said it was in the middle, you got it. Butterfly. I hear it right in the middle of the word there. Let's continue on our adventure. Okay, so it looks like Squid's dream continues. He says, I dreamt that I was incredibly strong. Look how strong Squid is. What is he doing? He's holding up a humongous whale. All right, are we ready to hunt? I see the word shark. Do you hear an R in the word shark? I do too. I see the I see a starfish. And in the text, I think we had some words in here that had our R sound. I see the word dreamt. There's that R. I see the word incredibly. There's that R in the middle. And the word 
strong. There it is again in the middle of the word. There are R's everywhere if we just look. You can pause the video right now and study the illustration and see if you can find any more R words to add to our list. Let's continue. I dreamt that I had x-ray vision. And the little fish fishies down here are commenting, x-ray vision, now wouldn't that be grand? And his friend says, grand indeed. So x-ray vision means you can see through things. Check out this illustration. We can see right through our critter cruise. There's two more words for our list, critter and cruise. They both have the R. Is that a capital or a lowercase r? Hmm. Let's think back to the beginning of our lesson with our capital and our lowercase r. These look like capital R's. All right, let's use our x-ray vision and see what's inside the submarine. Ready? Whoa, they're having a submarine party. How fun. Okay, Mr. Elephant, we have a job to do. So many words with our sound. It looks like Piglet is trying to grow some vegetables. I hear an R in the word grow. And what kind of vegetables is he growing? Looks like he's got, is that a cupcake? How silly. Can you grow cupcakes? I don't think so, but he's growing carrots. Does that word have our sound, carrots? Sure does. Where in the word is the R sound? Where in the word carrots is the R sound, beginning, middle, or end? Carrots. I hear it in the middle. Looks like he's growing some tomatoes and he's got all these beautiful butterflies enjoying his garden. Listen to all these R sounds we're finding. Looks like this bunny is a painter. There's an R in the end of that word. And our friends here, our little, two little friends here are having some dinner and one of them is a raccoon. We have a mama bear reading two baby rabbits. We have a driver, an uh, alligator, or maybe it's a crocodile. Either way, there are R's in both of those words. Alligator, crocodile, and looks like they're having a dance party. There's even an R in the word party. Whoa, that was a ton of words. We're gonna have to add them all to our list. Are you ready, elephant? All right, let's get our marker. Here he comes. You've been such a great helper throughout this whole episode. Okay, here we go. He's ready with his marker to add to our list. Okay. We had a garden. There's that R. And they, um, in the garden, things were growing. He was growing some carrots. There were butterflies flying around the garden. See how I'm underlining the R sound? If your target sound is R, you're gonna wanna slow down and really focus on making the best R sound you can make. And remember to stay tuned. At the end of this, I'm gonna give you some tips. Um, what else did we see? Oh, we saw the raccoon and his friend were having dinner. Dinner with raccoon. We have the word bear on our list from earlier. Remember bear was reading a story to some rabbits, which we also have on our list already. 
And um, downstairs in the basement of the submarine, they were having a dance party. And there are many, many, many more R words that you can add to your list. So I'm gonna show you the picture one more time. I want you to pause the video and add to your list. Are you ready? Okay, let's keep reading. I was a super squid, said squid. Now I'm just regular old me again. I feel so ordinary. Do you hear an R sound in the word ordinary? Do you know what that word ordinary means? If you said ordinary just means regular, normal, nothing special, you're right. So because Squid's dream, in Squid's dream, he was so amazingly strong and had x-ray vision and had all these great superpowers, now he's just feeling ordinary. How is he feeling? You're right, he's feeling ordinary. And if you're working on the R sound, this is a great time to stop and practice the word ordinary 10 times using your best R sound. Ordinary, Octopus exclaimed. Who knit cozies for hermit crabs whole family when they lost their shells? I did, said Squid. Who organizes Tickle Monday every week? asked Octopus. I do said Squid. All right, let's check out all the dialogue and commentary from our little friends here. We've got some crabs saying, I would like a blue pom-pom, brrr. Oh my, 100% wool works wonders. Knit faster, please. And this is showing when Squid was making all of his hermit crab friends some cozies to keep them warm while they were looking for new shells. That's not ordinary. That's being a helper and that's being very, um, very special. Start your week with a laugh. Here he is. He has organized Tickle Monday to brighten everybody's week. The fish are saying, boy, I could really use a tickle. Me next, me next, say the starfish. Hear the R in the word starfish. I love Tickle Mondays. Here's Shark getting tickled. He's saying, ooh, hee hee hee. So it looks like Squid is not ordinary at all. He is a special helper and he's making everybody's day much better. And who can play all of my favorite tunes at the same time? Asked Octopus. I can, said Squid. It's time to get down, says Electric Eel. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling the groove says our fishy friend. Now this is what I call boogie music. It's quite catchy. Well, any squid who can do all that is a super squid, declared Octopus. Squid suddenly felt super from head to tentacle. He gave Octopus his very best hug. It was incredibly strong. All right, you guys, we have a ton more R words, but now it's your turn. All right, I'm going to hold up the image. I want you to pause it right here and add some words to your list, either from the text or from the illustrations. The illustrations are the pictures. Okay, speech detective, that was another fun adventure with Squid and Octopus. I'm so excited for the next one. I'm gonna just give you some quick tips now on how to make the R sound. 
Um, I want you to go ahead and practice the tips and strategies I'm about to give you and then watch the video again and practice all the words on your list. So I think we just scratched the surface with our the list that we made today. There are a ton more R words in that story, but I want you to be the speech detective and find them on your own. So watch the video again, press pause when I hold the illustrations up and add to your list. So for the R sound, I wanna talk about what the tongue is doing in the mouth. Everybody makes the R sound a little bit differently and that's why the R sound is tricky. But one thing that everybody does the same way to make a good R is lift up the back of the tongue. And we actually talked about this in the last episode with the K and the G sounds, because for those sounds, you have to lift the back of the tongue as well. The difference in making the R sound is that you are also um, lifting up the sides of the tongue, but only in the back. You're lifting up the, the sides of the tongue in the back. And one way to do that is to scratch the sides of your tongue on your upper teeth, just to feel how your tongue should be when you're making the R sound. So lifting the back of the tongue, the sides of the tongue in the back, and scratching the sides of your tongue up at the top of your teeth. Um, and then another trick is to practice bringing the tongue tip up and back. So let's back up a little bit to that lifting the tongue in the back. Um, one way to practice this is to actually add the G or the K sound to the R. So we, we're going to make a cluster, like in the word crazy. And the reason we do that is because when you make the K and the G, as you learned from our last episode, you have to lift the back of the tongue. So if you're already making a good K and G and you add an R sound to that, your tongue is right in the right position to make the R. So we can say words like, crazy or cry or crab or critter and that also works with the g sound because the g is doing the same when you make a g your tongue is doing the same thing it's lifting up in the back we can say words like grow green gross and have fun with it. Silly words are, are fun and okay to practice too. Um, the second tip I want to teach you is what's called a retroflex R, and that is simply when the tongue tip is going up and back in the mouth. Now, the back of your tongue still has to stay up, the sides of your tongue in the back still have to stay up, but curling the tongue tip, the tip back can also be a helpful strategy. So I'm gonna use the word army, and I'm gonna try to show you what my tongue is doing um, inside the mouth as best I can. Ready? Army. Did you see it lift up and back? Let's try it again. Army. Now the back and the sides are still lifting up as well. And it, I, if you didn't know this already, your tongue is a muscle. And for the R sound, you're tightening up your tongue muscle to get that good R sound. Um, those are the tips I have for you today. I'm going to be doing additional R videos because R is such a tricky sound. So stay tuned for that and happy practicing. I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next episode of Miss Z TV. Hold on, Hold, what? I almost forgot. Mr. Elephant is dying to say goodbye to you guys as well. Come on, come on up, Mr. Elephant. Oh, you are so sweet, Mr. Elephant. He really loves you guys. Thanks for making him comfortable and I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Miss Z TV. I love you.